Good evening. We are here at this beautiful rustic weddings venue with the president of the South Shushok Arts Council, Reese. Hi. So they, you've got a dinner, dance, fundraiser event here. Tell us more about your organization and what you're doing in the community. Sure. Um, the Arts Council for the South Shushok, we uh, formed just over three and a half years ago. Uh, we brought together a bunch of different community organizations, um, the South Shushwap Children's Theatre Foundation, uh, Faces Fine Arts Studios, uh, as well as the Shushwap Lake Festival of the Arts. Um, and we had a bunch of different organizations uh, focused on different aspects of the arts in our community. And what we were looking at is everyone was sort of struggling for volunteer base, for keeping a board of directors together. Um, funding and uh, we found why don't we see who has you know what do, what do we have in common what can we do to collaborate yes. and it was really to say you know rather than have a bunch of small organizations that are really struggling let's form one that can, can do a lot for the community um, so that was a big part for us and today you know three years three and a half years later uh, we have also formed a partnership with the uh, Carlin uh, Community Association uh, Again, another great group that's been active in the community for decades, um, and they were struggling, you know, they run their coffee house scene and so on, but it was just, how do they run their hall, how do they fund things? We ran into a, a joint use agreement there nice. to help them out, so we share cost off, cost sharing on the whole operation with the Carlin Hall, um, and the Arts Council's moved in there two years ago uh, into the basement of the Carlin Hall, and we went in there, we've got... Uh, that's sort of our main instructional area. We have a dance studio with sprung floors, two soundproof music studios, uh, a whole art, visual art studio with a kiln for pottery and ceramics. Um, it's just been fantastic for learning. You know, we do deal with a lot of young kids, like from the four-year-old ballerinas all the way up to people in their 80s are doing crafts. Oh, that all-ages stuff is just wonderful. It, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it's so great to see. Um, and so that, that's sort of our instructional side of things. And, you know, we also uh, put on uh, one of our founding uh, directors, uh, Sharon Neuenhausen, came to us with the, you know, when we first formed, she said, you know what? We need to have music in the community, yes. and this is where we get the the music in the bay. We just wrapped up our third season. I down in I just bay. loved seeing this program come to life because it's such a wonderful outdoor venue, and the community just shows up in droves consistently to those music in the bay things. It's just so wonderful to see. We've been stunned by the, the by the support. You know, we had this little dream that came up, and it was really I have to say, like Shara and her family, her parents, her whole family in there. Uh, volunteering for the last three years and going vets at it and when we just sort of started we're like we don't know what we're going to see yep. and, and now we see three four five hundred people yeah. every week um, and just community support you know, ask for donations or, uh, uh, at, on the field or whether it's like corporate sponsorships uh, support from the and, and I think that seeing how big it's grown and really how relatively quickly it is is really a testament to the power of collaboration of people. And when you start collaborating with others, it can grow bigger than you can even imagine on your own. Oh, it's it's fantastic. You know, that's where you know uh, about a year and a half ago we started talking about we need to do something more. Uh, how we can grow, how we can be in, put ourselves in a position where you know if we have budding young artists in the community who want to go off to you know study fine arts or so on, how can we provide scholarships, bursaries, that sort of thing? We're not there yet, uh, but, but we're, it's, we're it's working moving in that. Direction. And you know that was we were introduced to the folks at the Shushwap Community Foundation. Um, they came, we invited them to come out to talk to our board, and we talked about you know, setting up an endowment fund. And really, this this event we're having here tonight. Uh, is the, the real drive behind it is to set that seed money together for that endowment fund to be managed by the Shushwak Community Foundation, which they do for so many different organizations yeah, in our community. Yeah, it's really cool to see what they're all doing in our community. And just again on that collaboration piece, Community Futures was involved in the beginning of some of this as well, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about how they helped set the tone for this? Very unique collaboration. Yeah, that was yeah. that was a big part when we made that uh, joint use agreement with the Carlin Hall Community Association. Um, we were looking for a place that we needed to build this studio where we could do construction and so on. And uh, it was Community Futures stepped up to sort of provide us the backing and said, okay, 
about how are we going to make this happen and so on. And uh, you know, they were able to find us uh, interim funding uh, to do the construction work and so on. And, and it came down to you know even uh, looking out for assistance and so on. And this you know project manager Reg Walters came out and sort of said, hey, you know, he came with a theater background. <laughs> we were like, this is fantastic. Well, so he understood. Yeah. He understood what we were looking for, and you know, it was everyone we worked with. You know, from the folks in the construction to consulting on it was, you know, okay, well, we'll do this, but we're going to cut our fees, or we're going to push this donation. Yeah, everybody's so working together, accommodating where they can. That's and this fantastic. was, you know, okay with uh, Karen and Candace Walters, you know, this fantastic thing. Uh, came to us and you know, we we're talking and we saying, you know, we really want to do fun. She's like, come up here. That's let's wonderful. Do, let's do it. Let's, it's let's beautiful do here, support. first of all, and it's just got this great vibe. We've got music by Jesse Mast and Megan Abel. Um, fantastic eats. Who's providing the food tonight? Oh, it's a, honestly, it's a long list. Um, <laughs> so and, we, and I'm really embarrassed because I'm going to miss somebody else. That's on. okay. Then we're not yeah. going to go there. Yeah. Basically, the point is... Wow, community collaboration, that's where it's at. This event is showcasing that. Um, if you want to get involved, you can visit the website. Uh, Shushwaparts.com. Follow them on Facebook. Hashtag Arts if you're out at a cool event. Uh, we'll be hashtagging that too. And all of the events that they do, you can also find on shoeshopevent.com. Current up-to-date information. So, if you can't be out today, that's okay. You can always find more fun things to do as part of the great community collaborations thanks to the folk, hard work of folks like this.